Right, so I'm joined by Nicola Hakeri and Mahika Gore of The Spirit. Um, Nicola, disappointing result today, semi-final loss of second year <laughs> running. Um, standard question, how are you feeling? <laughs> thanks for um, thanks for that little stat there. Um, oh, look, it's obviously disappointing. I thought, you know, to get to the final was a, a really great effort by the girls. And, yeah, to, to fall short again this season, it's obviously disappointing. But I thought... You know, we we didn't score enough runs with the bat. Um, it was a tough wicket to bat on. I thought they bowled really well. And um, to be fair, I thought our bowlers came out and did a pretty good job with um, what we'd put on the board. And Mahika next to me, I thought, you know, four overs straight was outstanding. Um, you've, yeah, been outstanding the whole tournament, really. So been a banker in the power play every single game we've had. So I thought our bowlers um, did really well with what we, we put out there today. And um, what's it been like to have... Mahika to be able to call on this year, just added to your team, youngster, and I imagine you don't want to let her go now. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not going anywhere. This is a spirit for life. But, um, oh, it's been outstanding. Like We don't have a lot of paces in our squad, so, um, yeah, having Mahika as a banker up front, bowling three overs with the power play, I reckon, every game, um, that's not an easy job to do, and very unique skill set, um, being left arm to start with and, and being so tall as well. So there's not many girls in the game or any that I can think of, actually, that do what Mahika does. So... Yeah, to have her on our side, I think we've been very lucky and, um, yeah, had an outstanding tournament so far. Um, Mahika, how much have you loved your time with Fairbury this year? Not the results today, but you've still got one more game. Um, you've really stamped your authority on this tournament. How much has that meant to you? Yeah, so far I think it's been amazing. Obviously, we would have loved to win today. Um, I thought that the way that we moved on from the first innings was really good. Like, we fought quite hard in the second innings. Um, hopefully, we can end it with a with a win tomorrow. Um, but yeah, for me, this tournament has been amazing. Uh, I've learned a lot, um, and yeah. And Nicola, obviously the discussion I'm imagining at the end of the things was we haven't got enough on the board, but then those early wickets falling, what was the thinking after that point that he could took those two quick wickets at the top and you had a bit of a strangle on? Yeah, I think, you know, like from our innings, it was quite difficult to bat, um, particularly when the bowlers bowled in really good areas. And, um, yeah, we got off to a, a really good start with Mahika and Ayer as well, um, finding the edge a fair bit, and it was quite difficult for the batter. So, look, you never know in those sort of run chases. You get a few wickets and it gets a little bit tight at the back end there, as we sort of saw a couple of late wickets there as well. So, um, yeah, we, we didn't have enough runs, but you never know. Like, I feel like, you know, crazy things happen in um, cricket sometimes. So you always got to believe that you're in the game. And, um, yeah, I thought the girls did a really good job to sort of get us to where we got to in the end, really. And a uh, question from Gomesh to Mahika. You have owned the stage here at Fairbury. How has it been for you as a whole experience? And have you been relishing the stage you've got to play on with all the other stars? And whose brain have you been picking? Um, yeah, like I said, it's been an amazing experience. I've learned a lot. I think I've been picking everyone's brain. Um, I think sometimes people are just like, go away, but it's fine. I've learned a lot, so. And everyone's everyone's actually been really nice. Nick, um, when she was standing at mid-off, took a lot about field setting. Uh, and I've learned a lot about like, like where to bowl um, up front. Um, yeah, it's been a great experience. Uh, and yeah. And Nick, back as captain again this year. Have you enjoyed that? Because remember last year, you at the beginning, you were like sort of, sort of been thrown into the captaincy <laughs> thing and you were sort of chuckling as you were at the captain's photo shoot, like, oh, here I am, guys. But yeah. you seem to have relished it. Oh, I, well, I was a bit more prepared this time. I was very, um, I came into it last year just, um, you know, as a player. And um, yeah, Bisma sort of came a little bit later than we thought she would. And, um, yeah, Oz was our coach last year and asked me to do it. So he sort of stepped in and hadn't done a heap of it before, to be fair. So I felt a little bit more prepared coming in this time and um, having the experience of last time. But, I've yeah, it's, it's I've really enjoyed it. Like, it's awesome, you know, having, you know, speaking to Mahika about things. Like, I feel like that's the beauty of this is sort of having those conversations and, you know, talking and sharing knowledge um, with younger players or players from different countries or whoever it may be. So I've actually, yeah, I've really enjoyed it this year. And how much has the tournament developed since you were involved in the first year? Yeah, I think you can definitely see the confidence um, from all the players. Like, I think, yeah, it's it's been a, a really good tournament this year and you've seen the girls sort of take it on. And, um, yeah, I just think you can sort of see the girls growing in confidence and their game is sort of reflecting that as well. So I think it's just going to keep growing every year, which is awesome. The more experience everyone can get, the better. So, um, yeah, I think it's just going to keep getting better and better. Uh, definitely. We did finish last, uh, last, last year, like you mentioned, 
but we were doing the processes right throughout and we did bring uh, bring in the win in the last game but we've continued that uh, like Julia Perez always keeps telling us it's not about the win we've not talked about the win throughout this tournament we've always talked about doing the processes right how much do we get in the first six overs what's our power play what's our death bowling so we've only talked about trying to set us up for the results and not actually looking for trying to go harder for the results. So I think that's been the one working for us. And coming into the game, you, I imagine, couldn't have thought you'd restrict him to so few runs. What were the discussions at the end of that innings? Well, definitely, I think bowlers have done exceptionally well this tournament. They've set us up really well in the past six games that we have played. Um, and the wicket is definitely assisting them. Uh, if, as you can see, I think the top score for today was 27. Um, the, definitely, the, it's, it's been a little difficult for the batters to have the scoring uh, going like we've expected in Dubai or any other, uh, you know, any other uh, tournament. But it's been amazing. Um, bowlers have always stood up to... Whenever the ball's thrown at them, they've stood up to the challenge. They want to bowl in the right areas. I want to definitely call out the fielding has been exceptionally evolved for the Warriors this year. We've taken probably the maximum catches uh, in this tournament. Uh, we've dropped very less. Uh, so I think everything has come down uh, as a team together really well. And how good has Catherine Bryce been throughout this tournament? Player of the match again today. Yeah. Well, amazing. I think it's all three departments just just not her bowling. She's done exceptionally well in bowling. But you know, when we've asked her to go out there and get those crucial runs for us, got those runs, taking those catches on the field, and she's been brilliant. And she's almost been the leader of the group in terms of the bowling itself, uh, giving and and you know, bowling at every scenario that we want her to bowl to. We almost held her back all, all the way today to just you know use her at the right time. So she's been up for the challenge. Great turnaround for her from the last year to this year. Amazing to see what she's capable of. Yeah, and I was actually up the stairs and I saw that ball launch itself onto the roof. It took four people to find it. That went a very long way. Mm -hmm. um, she's just been phenomenal. We've got a question here from Gomesh. Um, Sindhu, congrats on qualifying. How much has changed since the last edition of the competition in terms of the players and competitiveness and challenge from opponents? Well, it's definitely been a very challenging uh, tournament so far. Uh, you've seen it's been low scoring a little bit, but also which makes it a little more interesting. You want the bowlers to come into the party as well. Um, it's been very challenging. Definitely, um, definitely our bowlers have done throughout, uh, throughout the tournament really well. Um, the challenge has been there. We've definitely got a better bowling attack than the last time with Velo coming in. Uh, I mean, Amanda Jane, uh, Wellington and Phoebe as well. Like class apart. I think uh, we did have a stronger side going in and Haley as well. So it's just been an amazing effort from everybody. Um, other teams have also stood up to the challenge and we've been challenged almost every game. Even this one went all the way to the down and, and won by four wickets, which we made it a little bit more interesting than we would have hoped for. And so into the final, which is only one sleep away, what will the processes be between now and then? Well, we don't want to change too many. Everything that we've done so far has worked for us. And it's important to remind the team that keep doing the things that worked for us. Uh, don't do anything fancy and you know the results will come. Um, ob absolutely no pressure of having to go out there and win the finals, you know, go out there, have fun and you know the results will come our way. If not, you know, it's still a good tournament. We've had the best tournament and take the uh, take the win. And how great has the development been of the likes of Yasmin Khan, Isha Oza, Mariana Martinez, and what have you made of their development of the last year? And how big a role do you think this tournament has played in the opportunities provided for those girls? Oh, well, amazing. I think uh, you, you'll you have to go back and see how, how all of us, including me, have done in the World Cup qualifiers or the regional qualifiers. When we go back, you will see that we are a, completely a different cricketer than what we used to be before. Uh, it's just because we're rubbing shoulders with Phoebe Litchfield, playing with Minx or Haley or even Catherine Bryce. It's, it's just been amazing and we pick up the small little things about how to prepare ourselves for bigger tournaments. Uh, the results might not be here, but when you go back and you actually follow us in any of the associate level cricket, you will see how much we've improved. And when we come back here, there's a lot more confidence. If you see, I, I feel I, I do have a lot more confidence coming back and the decisions that I'm making on the field, a uh, lot more confident than what I used to be last year. So it's definitely helped all of us. Um, love this tournament, coming back here and you know doing our thing and 
winning is just you know cherry on the top and i guess for you as well you reunited with julia price again this year you're quite a dynamic duo the pair of you aren't you <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, I can't talk enough about Julia Price, and she's been such a big influence in my life, uh, not just cricket, uh, the best mentor that I could have asked for. I've worked with her since 2019, that's the first time I met her. Made a huge impact. Uh, um, if anything that I do on the field in terms of leadership-wise, you know, it's just, it's just all her. Uh, I feel like I take her with me when I go onto the field. Amazing, uh, love working with her. Um, hope we can continue this you know, as long as possible. Um, this is the only opportunity I get in Fairbreak to you know, work with her and I want to make the best out of it. And final question, will you be keeping a close eye on this afternoon's match? Well, well definitely. Uh, I mean, we're, we're okay with who the, whoever the opposition is. We have to go out there and still do our thing. Um, but it'll be a good game, a good game of cricket. Uh, of, appreciate any kind of cricket, you know, look closely. I think it's a two big teams, Bamiri and Falcons, uh, really two big teams and high scoring teams. So it'll be interesting to watch them.